स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फॉर्मूला ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन सो वन लेक्चर अर्लियर जस्ट बिफोर दिस लेक्चर एंड बिफोर दैट वी स्टडी फॉर्मूला ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन सो इफ यू रिमेंबर फॉर्मूला ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन यू वोट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इन फाइंडिंग आउट फॉर्मूला ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन सो सम ऑफ द फॉर्मूला विच वी डिस्कस देयर ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दम हेयर ऑल्सो so you will do this simultaneously as we are going to do this so first do you remember that what is the differentiation of sin x so i think if you remember this is cos x so what we can say that the integration of cos x is actually sin x plus constant of integration which has to be put in which we already studied when we were doing indefinite integration so this is differentiation this is integration now tell me students if you know the differentiation of cos which is minus sin can you tell me what is the integration of sin x so don't say that it is minus sin x and you are asking me sin x so this minus can just go here and this minus can be taken as a constant and it will come inside the differentiation so what is the integration of sin x it is minus cos x plus constant of integration further if we say what is the differentiation of tan x then you will tell me that it is sec square x then you know that the integration of sec square x is equal to tan x plus constant of integration so similarly you will do this and you will get here that integration of cos x square x is actually minus cot x plus c if you will do here you will see here that integration of sec x into tan x will be equal to sec x plus c if you will do integration of cos x into cot x you will get the integration as minus cos x plus <coughs> constant of integration so you can see that if you remember these formula you can get these formula <coughs> further we also did some of the formula which were algebraic <coughs> so here again what we will do is i am going to write here the differentiation and pavan sir will write there the integration so here you also know that you have to pause the video if you are taking time in understanding and then you do it on your paper and then see that what pavan sir is writing and cross check it so basically seventh formula is differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x so so since the differentiation of e to the power x is same so integration of e to the power x will again give you integral e to the power x will again give us e to the power x plus a constant of integration as we have done in the indefinite integral principles now i am telling that if differentiation of a to the power x that is actually a to the power x into ln a so so if we want to integrate this function that is a to the power x into ln x dx so what we will get is again a to the power x so the result is a to the power ln x a. plus c oh sorry this is ln a here right so we will again get a to the power x plus c so generally we remember this formula in a formula manner like this that we don't want a constant over here so we say a to the power x dx and this constant comes outside and goes into the denominator a to the power x by ln a and constant always remains a constant because some other constant but remain constant common remain constant constant value may some other constant so basically uh, you get a formula from differentiation of integration now if we see differentiation of uh, ln x that is actually natural log so this will be 1 by x so what do you get in the integration so when we integrate 1 upon x dx what we will get is ln x plus c 
obviously here x can neither be negative and x can also in this case is not equal to 0 so x can be any positive value here another formula which we know is differentiation of log x to the base k now this k is any positive and not unity so what is its differentiation so this will be 1 by x and you will get log of k here in the denominator if you remember the formula of differentiation so again if i want to integrate 1 upon x ln or log a dx so after integrating this what we will get is log ax and if we want to integrate 1 upon x dx we can simply write log a into log of ax so basically next formula which we come across is we have seen exponential we have seen log so if we want to differentiate x to the power n what we used to get was n into x to the power n minus 1 so if i want to integrate this function that is let us say x to the power n minus 1 so if i integrate x to the power n minus 1 what we will get is x to the power n n minus 1 plus 1 that is n divided by n plus c here or if you differentiate this you will get n into x to the power n minus 1 so general formula i can write is x to the power n dx integral will give us x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c here only thing that is important in the integral part that the power increases by 1 and the yeah. denominator also increases by 1 so you want to take n minus 1 then it will be n if you want to take n then it is n plus 1 basically so you can easily see all this formula which we remember here is from differentiation only so these two are quite interdependent topics and till now we already know this one more thing which is uh, important i want to highlight here is actually uh, Yes, sir has said and I just remembered that uh, if log of x is differentiated you get 1 by x plus constant where x is a positive real number always because a negative or a number which is 0 the log is not defined we will see that in the particular lecture which will be about logarithm logarithm now here one thing is important that if you differentiate log of mod of x with respect to x so modulus function is also a function which is like a log function for which also we need some lecture and we will teach you for now you know that mod x is a value which is always greater than equal to 0 whether x is negative or x is positive here x can be negative x can be 0 x can be positive but mod x will be always greater than equal to 0 here what happens differentiation of log of mod x actually give you 1 by x plus c naught mod x so i will going to highlight you something which will help you understand in this so 1 by x plus c this is how we write it where obviously we are not taking the case when x is 0 so here condition is x belongs to real number except 0 so here you have to understand this quite clearly that there is something like this also which is a formula for log that is log of mod of any value which is not positive which is not 0 either positive or negative will always come out to be positive mod x will always be greater than equal to 0 if you don't take x as 0 you take x as any positive or negative number mod x will be positive and you will get its differentiation as 1 by x plus c so you can remember this formula also and you can also remember this formula here you are taking x as positive and you are getting 1 by x here you are taking mod x not only x and you are seeing that x could be positive could be negative but mod is positive and you are getting 1 by x so in the next lecture i will tell you that how this is happening why the mod has vanished here 
by some rules of integration and also sir will tell you many application of those rules of integration in between you can think and wonder how this has happened just try it is not too difficult if you want to understand modulus function little bit go through it in our video or in some book if it is available with you and then think why this is happening then we will see it in the next lecture so we take leave in this lecture students thank you thank you